So, if you recollect, we were looking at uh, estimating, you know, in related to maintenance management, estimating the estimating the repair cycle, estimation of repair cycle for such <coughs> items or systems you can say which deteriorates gradually. For example, uh, roof covering system, roof covering system, a roof covering system, you know the roof covering system would be made of tiles quite often in North India or even elsewhere also in the other part of the India also, so where you have lime terracing. Top there is a cover, this top cover deteriorates with time because it is exposed to rain, thermal cycles and if it is accessible, maybe sometime human activity as well, but that is not much, main is a, it gets you know, so rain and uh, uh, exposed to rain and thermal cycles etcetera, etcetera. So, in such ones basically the deterioration you would see, we talk in terms of 5 yearly term in maintenance management yearly of course, we do yearly budgeting, yearly maintenance, we will see that that kind of you know steps that we take, but we talk in terms of 5 year because you will not see the process is so slow, it is not very fast, it is not like many of the mechanical system where there is a lot of wear and tear, where you have a lot of wear and tear moving parts, there you might see much faster. So, here it is 5 yearly time term, so it deteriorates slowly possibly every 5 yearly five yearly you know we look at and then it deteriorates slowly and then time comes. So, that that curve if you require you know it is level and you know, like the performance level, performance level, performance level it will come down slowly with time. Then you restore it back to its original state or maybe even better if it is better performance level, performance level might be with a better material might depends upon, we are looking at trying to find out this time repair cycle. So, repair cycle is, this is our repair cycle. So, this is our repair cycle, this is our uh, repair cycle, repair cycle is this, repair cycle, this is what we are trying to find out. Now, you, you might repair it and might even, even do it a better manner, so that it actually does not deteriorate so fast, but at the moment we are not interested in this part of it all that we want to find out is repair cycle. If I had a mathematical model available, if I knew the rate of deterioration, it things would have been much easier. Supposing I knew that rate of, the, but then is this kind of system, uh, which is actually system, not even individual material. So, there there is a, there is a problem, problem in the sense that uh, it has to be based on your observation and empirically you have to find out. So, you have to collect data or record the data. That is why it is very important in building maintenance management, estate maintenance management, one is to keep the data, when you have done what. So, we define something called anticipated state matrix, if you remember we talked about that, anticipated state matrix or yeah, state matrix, that is what we try to find out, state matrix. And this will also come from past data. Therefore, first you should define the state. First you define the first you should define the state itself. State itself. First you should define the state itself. State. So first state. You know you can you can even give a code to it, number to it. For example, states and its description. Right. So this is anticipated actually state. If I may say, so number one states. If I say number one, it's you know designation or its identification number, no visible defect.
2 as I was mentioning in the last class small isolated isolated blisters etcetera you know large area covered under blisters and then maybe something else else cascading effect right a uh, lot of water seepage marks inside etcetera etcetera so you can define the states in this manner now i didn't go into further because it will vary from element to element for a for let us say the same thing i can do for possibly a flooring industrial flooring right or places where i i like to have possibly there will be some spillover or something of that kind so what you will find is there might be one small patch of flood has gone after some time the second no visible defects then there is isolated uh, isolated you know isolated uh, uh, um, exposure of the lower course the to top has gone and then large area the extent that also you can talk about so this is how you can define the states in various cases the example that we are taking is of roof covering now simultaneously what you note also remedial action required and cost so in the same table you might then say no visible defect remedial action nil cost is zero so small isolated location even still you can say remedial action nil and the cost is zero but then this is now over some some larger area extent is slightly more you might cover the extent also here of course one of the ways is doing it in more elaborate way the defect state the defect then extent large small etc also you can qualify quantify that's that's you know more detail somewhere i might show you later on related to um, condition assessment of structural system i might tell you about the same also so so states are there and their remedial action and cost involved that you might talk about so if you look at it this is an example of a uh, roof covering system anticipated state 1 no visible defects remedial action cost per meter square zero La, you know then then second one again some isolated blister large blisters cost is there patching cost so if there are large blisters but it is only in some places you might do what is called patch repair repair those areas now i'll give an example of it's easy to give an example of iit estates if you look at it uh, construction would have gone in by stages so you know let's say let's say residential areas or hostels hostels should be better because some of you might be now if you look at the boys hostel particularly you will find shivalik vindachal they look similar they would have come out come at together then there are five more hostels starting from jawalamukhi to nilgiri they all look similar therefore they are clubbed in one group they would have come up in the same time and when i look at the roof covering system i take all of these areas survey all of them and then large blisters in many one of them right in all all the all the roofs and if you see the uh, residential you will find many two story building came at the, that point of time in the east campus and sometime later on in 78 there are a number of them came in the west campus as well number similar so we can group all these similar type of houses together in one go and then what we are saying is we record obviously and the if past record is available then we say isolated blisters in one building little another building little so you do what you do patch repair because it's little the cost then patch repair you know but if it is a large scale then you have to remove it you know like if it has also resulted in some sort of exposure of the lower level lot of lot of uh, rain penetration is occurring then you have to do it all in one go. So, cost for each one would be recorded also, also would be known. Now, the point that I want to make here is that, you know, related to the cost part of it, when you do one patch repair, small area, when you do for small areas, small areas you do it, for, you know, smaller areas you do it patch. So, every time you will have, the people will come, if it is a roof covering, people will have to go to the roof, if there is an excess available, fine, otherwise ladder and such system, bring their whole thing, maybe they are going to put in some kind of a, uh, mm, some sort of specific, uh, mm, you know, finishing layer or replace the tiles. So, every building they will be setting up and 
even if it is the same contractor, even if it is the same contractor, goes from one building to the another to another and so on and so forth. That is, you know, and then does a little bit of work and comes back, which means that wastage of plenty of wastage of time and they will be charging every time for setting up the thing and this year you do it, next year you do a little bit of patch repair. So, these costs are usually, patch repair costs are usually higher per unit area, right. But if you do give the contract in one go to a uh, you know, agency, it says you do the whole floor, I mean whole roof or maybe all six roofs, six hostels, then it will turn out to be per unit area wise it will turn out to be cheaper, that is the philosophy. So, if you plan it properly, you can actually do all of them in one go and that is what we are trying to find out, what is the repair cycle. If we have constructed X, you know like 19, let us say 1970 and I know the life is 25 years. So, 1995 to 2000 I should have done all the in one go, if I can find the life, let us see how do we find the life. So, philosophy is that patch repair cost, oh spelling wrong. cost is higher than replacement, complete replacement, right, complete replacement. So, your anticipated state matrix now will have time on one side, right and I mean the, 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 the you know rows will be for time and first column will be the states, first column will be the states and each time how much percentage of the area is seen in that state that would that is what it would be. So, this is the philosophy and let us see how we arrive at this. So, my anticipated state matrix, anticipated state matrix let me call it like this, I do it like this state 1, 2, 3, 4 etcetera I have defined now, I have defined these states now and then this is the percentage of area or unit I can say, percentage of area or unit in each state after 5 years, 10 years, 15 years etcetera etcetera. So, after 5 years maybe 90 percent or 80 percent will be in state 1, right, 80 percent, maybe 20 or 20, you know, 19, 18 percent in state 2, maybe 1 percent might show, it is in state 3, just as an example, but this record has to be kept. So, if this is kept, let us say, not in one agency, but many places, this will help you in modeling, right. If if it is not available at the moment and you are starting for the first time, not records are available, good guessworks can also be done actually or experience of people can be, yes, yeah, so it can be utilized. So, and then there will be 9. Similarly, 10 years this will now reduce, this might reduce to 75 because state 1 is no visible or 70 or 60 maybe. This will, this might increase to maybe 25 this will definitely increase, there will be, there will be increase this, this will be little bit of increase in fourth state also. And as you go further, so then you find out the cost implication, here there is cost is 0, first case 5 years, every you know you there cost implication after first 5, so you have a cost at the bottom and the cost implication you find out, cost will be practical, you will, will not be any cost involved 5 years because this remedial measure for this is nil, even this is nil. At best you will have 1 percent of the cost. So, what you can do is you can actually find out what is the cost implication, because it will be if the cost is given as let us say just for the sake of it 1000 rupees for the, uh, I am just taking it you know 1000 rupees per square meter or maybe 2000 rupees per square meter for complete replacement, cost for patchwork might be around. 3000 rupees, right, cost of 
this will be around 3000 rupees so what you do here you will do patchwork of 1% so multiply this by 0 0.01 so cost here after 5 years will be you know 1% uh, i said so 10 no 20 per meter square cost per meter square approximately per meter you know like the total cost overall on an average because 2000 was per meter square cost only 1% will be affected so as if my effective 20 into the total area so total area i am not taking into account so 20 next year this will increase and next year next 5 years 15 years it will still increase a time will come supposing this has now gone to 60 years so 25 years and maybe you know 5 year so how much does it make 25 13 another you know 5 8 10 or 15 just let me for the sake of understanding let me put it 16 25 15 or maybe you know okay okay maybe it, because it's probabilistic we'll see that that probability part of it let me take it as uh, 12 or 13 13 and 2 year so because some small area might show even significant distress so the the cost then would be tw you know 35 because this also i'll do patch repair only 2% is in real bad shape i'll still go and do the patch repair so this would be how much 25 40% so 40 into now 20 40% this was only 1% here 40 into sorry this is now 15 15 into 20 because this also no remedial action 15 into 20 would be now uh, 10 200 uh, 300 rupees 300 rupees right 300 rupees 300 rupees so th when it, this becomes uh, this becomes 10 percent or something somewhere or 20 percent this is another 20 percent and this becomes 60 percent the cost of this one will go to how much 2000 into yeah which means 0. 0.6 so 0. 0.6 into how much it will become uh, 3000 sorry i'm multiplying the wrong one 3000 so this first one would have been 30 this is the replacement cost this is the patch cost which is higher so 3000 into 1% first 5 years 30 rupees when it is 15% it goes to 450 rupees if it goes to 60% then it will go to 180 rupees and if it goes to 70% this is 2000 not 60% so means uh, 1800 1800 and 70 percent means 2100 so when it goes you know 2100 it is not worthwhile to do this patch repair you should actually do complete replacement complete replacement so you study this data and when you find that your patch re repair cost is same or more than the replacement cost you replace the whole thing even something good that also will get replaced because the if you do patch repair next five year later those one which you have not done repair they will actually become bad so you replace them in one go that's the philosophy that's how we find out what is the deterioration level right uh, in in structural system we'll see it slightly different structural systems acceptability is important serviceability limits you know it cost is an issue but more importantly even if the you know cost may be uh, cost may be uh, slightly higher or you know cost is secondary first supposing there's a crack people will not accept it people will not feel safe so serviceability limit comes into picture here we do it in this kind of economic way so now i can look into the slide that i had it's the same thing but since this is not really uh, you know you can you can look at it when you have this uh, the slides you can see so so this i was saying 3000 rupees this i was saying as 2000 rupees right so if you see the cost implications then you can see this will have 80 19 1 you know at best you will do some sort of 1 into 2 uh, 3000 will be uh, 30 rupees huh? yeah so so the one divided by 100 so 30 rupees only if you come to this you find 15 15 into this 450 no 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 but 10 plus 5 even the state 4 also you need patching 
State 4 is localized. State 4 is bad condition, but it is localized at the moment. Okay. So, I will still do patching only. When it comes to 35, 35 into 3000 is how much? 35 into 3000, uh, 1050, right? 1050. And then 60 into 3000 is 1800, and 70 into 2100. Obviously, I would say that I will do it because next year if you do it, it will be costlier than 2000. So, do not wait for that because 70 percent has gone in not acceptable state really. So, here itself you do the complete renewal of all the buildings, total area that is under you. So, you know like I was giving the examples of those hostels, similar looking hostels from um, Jawalamukhi to Nilgiri. Now, it would be at different locations. When I am looking at even bad condition, this will be at different locations, not in one hostel. Every hostel will not have 30 percent, it will not be uniform. There will be a different location. Therefore, as if it is less, still I will do patchwork, you know, do an extensive repair work, but patchwork cost will be similar, sort of. But when it is out of those, you know, six hostels, six or uh, I think six or six, seven hostels, six hostels, total about 30 percent area requires extensive repair and another 30 percent requires somewhat removal of the tiles and things like that. I would rather go for doing everything in one go. So, that is the kind of approach. So, my life then I decided that it will be 20 years of life for this one, right. So, the costing is done in the next one, costing is done in the next one, you know this is what I have already done it. So, per meter square cost you can find out this will come as 2100, this comes as 1800, this comes as 1050, this comes as 450, this comes as 30, you know this already I have done. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then we can do the replacement no, but actually with 60 in between I am not very sure in between actually you know already 60 percent is gone to such a state. I will do one earlier you know 1800 I could have done 1800 possibly, but then I have to do somewhere in between if I have to match it 2000 case no. So, possibly a better judgmental decision will be why leave 60 percent in bad state replace everything out you know it is judgmental essentially. So, it will be we are doing slightly earlier then it exceeds 2000 all right. Now, there could be other kind of situations where you have say external painting. Now, you see the external painting let us say another another case of external painting let me call it the external painting let us let me look at external painting let me look at it external painting scenario hey, where did it go. Right. So, external painting scenario let us say. Now, you see from architectural requirement generally I as I mentioned uh, if the constructions are done at different time particularly of larger areas group of areas groups of buildings depending upon type of uh, you know occupancy. So, if it is residential then I will be talking in terms of neighborhood right because which we mentioned earlier neighborhood actually. If it is let us say hospital it has got a functional use there are different components for example, large hostel like all India Institute of Medical Sciences Delhi if you see it you will find it has got different uh, different uh, uh, departments or units if I may call them which are buildings actually. So, there everyone has got or, or you know OPD has got its own function, the operation theatre building has got its own function, the wards have their own function. So, it is a complex sort of thing. Now, what happens is when it is planned, planning is done in a given way and if it is done in a very systematic way, traffic movement will be minimized, the look aesthetic part and then functional issues. For example, OPD should, should be close to the external you know road so that entry is straight away, emergency, OPD there you know th that kind of thing. So, interfacing or interrelationship between different spaces are taken into account right and this this can be modeled sometime I might have mentioned even mathematically you can minimize the traffic flow 
and you know uh, implication cost implications and all that now look wise generally there is a philosophy look wise there is a philosophy so you do not like to change the look because unless you understand that philosophy and deliberately knowing that philosophy you do it doing a external painting just for the sake of painting is not the best thing to do because it is looking ugly paint something whatever you feel like that's not right right thing would be understand the philosophy that the initial architecture is because as they grow old they tend to toward, go towards heritage today Luton's Delhi which is about 100 you know at best 100 plus 10 120 years old even not 100 years, because capital was shifted in 1911 and they started building those things later on 1930s many would have come but today you call them heritage building you don't want to change them you want to keep that legacy the culture the history because you know it tells us also it educates us past educates us basically that's the idea so that is to be kept so something becomes heritage so therefore one would not like to change things now if you want to maintain the same one simple washing might be a good job do washing so one of your options could be wash it every year so that dust doesn't accumulate but it will depend upon climatic situation dust you know whether you know industrial i mean microclimate as well because industrial pollution coming making it dirty etc etc there are issues like that so one option could be simply washing there could be a second option depending upon the situation you only two yearly you do something don't do yearly washing two yearly you do possibly some coating washing and coating maybe or maybe there is an option do it three yearly now but they keep the philosophy same architecture look same everything same that the fundamental requirement or functional requirement that should remain same now if you have such options then you have to find out the cost of each one so cost of doing yearly obviously let us say is something again let's put it at you know some values some values i can put in now if you cost it too yearly the cost will increase but may not increase proportionally right so if it is x y this is one year cost y two yearly cost and z maybe three yearly or five yearly whatever it is so what i'll do i one way is to simply find out average cost and whichever is least you choose that because this you will do every three years this you will be doing this will be doing every two years and this will be doing every one year so this is this is in a simple simple model but a slightly complicated not complicated slightly more realistic one can think of think it bring in time value of money right as i said as i said you know as i said time value of money means engineering economics so as i said that your simple average is possible but time value of money means 100 rupees today after one year it will be 100 plus i if the interest rate is i and 100 plus i today will become 100 plus i into 1 plus i again 100 sorry 100 100 plus i into 1 plus i again right so this becomes 100 into 1 plus i square so 3 years therefore the money that you are spending after 3 years is effectively actually less today 100 plus yeah i of 100 yeah uh, yeah i of 100 i of 100 yeah that's right i mean basically it will be 100 plus 100 into 1 plus i 100 into 1 plus i that's what simple writing and this is 100 into 1 plus i square and so on and so forth so therefore because even if i put it in the bank straight away 4.5 percent savings account they will give me interest so therefore i should value the money in that manner because they'll invest somewhere get the return much higher than that and bank issue savings account even so therefore i must value by money uh, at some interest rate and it is compounding interest in that and then in engineering economic situation we account do the accounting at the end of the year financial year 
So you sum up all the money that you have spent on the whole year or received and put it at the, at the end of year. So we talk in terms of EOY, end, end of year, right? So if I take that into account, <coughs> the money that has been spent three years later, money that has been spent three years later, current present value of that money would be simply, you know, three years later I have spent that money. So I was saying that Z divided by 1 plus i to the power 3 in this case. N equals to 3. Number of years is 3. So I can compare the present value of each of them. And whichever is least, that I should be choosing. This is one way of comparing. There is another way of this same one. I will just, I'll just little bit quickly, not going into the engineering economics part of it. But engineering economics should be brought in actually here. Supposing, just for the sake of understanding, supposing I spent A or deposit A in the bank now and then deposit again A after one year, 0, 1, 2, you know, 2, 3, A, A, A for any years, what will be its future sum or present sum that I can find out? Since it is n here, right now I have put in a, it will become future sum will be 1 plus i to the power n. This will become a into 1 plus i to the power n minus 1. Next one will be a into 1 plus i to the power n minus 2 and last one will be a, only a. So you can see it is a GP series, it is a geometrical progression, progression series. I mean if I write it in the reverse order, a plus a into 1 plus i etc. etc. Last one will be a plus 1 plus i to the power, right? So there is 0, 1, 2, n plus 1 terms actually. In this case, n plus 1 term, right? Or if you know, whichever way. So actually, you can find out the GP series, GP series, right? Uh, geometrical progression series. So it's basically a into r to the power n minus 1 the common ratio divided by r you know r minus 1 if the r is the r is the common ratio so common ratio here is 1 plus i to the power 1 plus i common ratio is here 1 plus i right so uh, common ratio here, here is 1 plus i to i and so it is r to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 into a remember that right the gp series so 1 plus i to the power n minus 1 divided by 1 plus i minus 1 so it will become i so future sum is this and its present worth if i want to find out divide this by 1 plus i to the power n so if i spend a a a a for you know right now or after first year i have started let us say up to n minus 1 n you know n minus 1 at n terms, total n terms starting from 0, I can find out what is called uh, present worth of an equal payment series. Every year you are paying same. You must be doing it in highway projects as well or, or you know building construction management of course you will be doing. So one can actually resort to this sort of engineering economics calculation to find out the present worth, future sum or if you know the present, present worth what we call capital recovery, you can find out every year how much or what is called sinking fund factor, how much I should put in so that I get future so much. This all you can find out by doing a little bit of manipulation. I am not going to details of this, but one can take that sort of situation into account. So then you can find out, say for example, one washing 600 rupees, 1200, 1500 rupees, you do simply divided by 3, this comes 5. If you divide by 2, this comes 600, same. So this would have been the best option. If three yearly I do and if the cost is 1500 rupees per meter square, uh, you know, the just hypothetical sum value I have taken. Divide by three comes 500. And if you take time value of money, obviously if you spend later, its effect now is less because 1 plus i to the power n. It will always favor spending later. If you take interest rate into account, it will, so present worth you can find out. And this is, you can compare and whichever gives you best, you can choose. So this is another way of finding out the periodicity let's say of external painting or internal painting or something of that kind, if you have options available, alternative selection of alternative.